Okay, good morning class. So, today we're going to be learning about the present perfect. This is something that you've learned before and you know how to use, but we're just going to remind ourselves. We're going to remind ourselves when to use it, how to form the present perfect, and then we're going to do some practice conversation to get you using it as well. So, can someone give me an example of a sentence using the present perfect? Okay, very good. I have eaten. Perfect. Very, very good. I have eaten. How about uh, another one? I have never drank milk. Very good. Well done. Good job. So that's the present perfect. So, we're going to start with a quick exercise. Everyone has to stand up and we're going to look at some pictures and I want you to tell me what's happening in the picture or what you think the, the picture means. So, first one, what's this? Okay, what is it? It's a hotel, very good. What kind of hotel do you think it is? Five star hotel, very good. Okay, so now I want you to sit down if you have stayed in a five star hotel. Okay, right, so you've sat down, so you've stayed in a five star hotel before. Now I want you to tell me, answer me some questions. Now we're going to talk in the past simple. So. When did you stay in a five-star hotel? Last year, okay, very good. And how long did you stay for? A week, did you have fun? Very good, well done. Okay, what about this next one? What's happening in this picture? Okay, good, yeah. Broken my arm, very good. Okay, so who's broken their arm? Okay, good, so past simple. When did you break your arm? Good, and how did you break your arm? Mm, okay, very good. All right, what about this next one? What do you think is happening here? They're crying, good, why are they crying? They're crying at a movie, very good. So who has cried at a movie? Okay, what movie did you cry at? Mm, very good, well done. Okay, so what's this one? What country is this? Japan, very good. Okay, so have you ever been to Japan? Okay, very good. What about this one? There's a few of you in this class. What's this called? You're sitting down, so can you tell me what this is? Okay, it's called wearing braces. Okay, so we use the verb to wear, and these are braces. Let's try it. Braces. Braces. Very, very good. Well done. Okay. And the last one, what are these people doing? Good, they're camping. So, have you ever been camping? Okay, very good. So, where did you go camping? And who did you go with? Okay, very good. So, I've asked you some questions with this exercise using the present, uh, using the present perfect, okay, and you gave me some answers in the past simple. But, uh, let's look at the uses for the present perfect. So, we have three uses here. The first one uh, is an experience in someone's lifetime without saying the exact time when it happened, and in fact, when it happened isn't important. So, we have an example up here. I have broken my leg twice. So, we know this happened in the past, but we don't know when it happened. We know it happened in the past, we know what happened, but when it happened isn't important. So, can someone give me another example of a sentence where it, something's happened in the past and it doesn't matter when it happened? Okay? Good, I have been to Malaysia. Very, very good. It happened in the past, but we don't know when. We also use the present perfect for recent events which have a result in the present. So, here's an example here. She has lost her textbook. So, have a result in the present. What do you think that means? Okay, very good. It affects what's going on now. So, she has lost her textbook. What's the result? in the present for that? Why, why is it important for the present? Okay, it's important for the present because in this sentence she has lost her textbook and so now she doesn't know where it is, 
She cannot use it. Something it has happened in the past and it affects the present. Actions or situations that began in the past but continue into the present. So for example here, BTS have been together for six years. So they started singing together six years ago and they're still singing together now. So we use the, past, the present perfect for that one as well. Can someone give me an example of an action or a situation that began in the past and continues into the present? Yeah. Very, very good. I have studied English for eight years. So it's happened in the past, you started in, in the past, and it's still happening now. Very, very good. Well done. Okay, so let's just remind ourselves how we form the present perfect tense, okay? So for the first one here, we have a positive sentence. What's a positive sentence? Yeah, good. So it's something that happens. And what's a negative sentence? Something that doesn't happen. Very, very good. Okay, so if we want to use the present perfect tense uh, in the positive sentence, we have subject first, so subject, and then we have have or has, and then the past participle. So what's another word? What can we say the past participle is? Verb three, very, very good, verb three. Or you can say the past participle as well. So we have an example here. I have tried sushi. Okay, so the subject, what's the subject? I, good, have, and then verb three. Where's verb three in the sentence? Tried, very, very good. I have tried sushi. Okay, if we want to make a negative sentence, we have subject, and then we have haven't. What's haven't short for? Have not, very good. Or hasn't, what's hasn't short for? Has not, very, very good. And then verb three again. So we have another example. I have not tried sushi. Subject is I have not or haven't. And then verb three, tried, very, very good. And so we need a question as well. And for the questions we have have, or has, and then the subject, and then verb three, or the past participle, and then a question mark. So, we have an example, have you tried sushi? Have, or has, and where's the subject? You, very good, and verb three, tried. Very, very good. So this is how we form the uh, three sentences using the present perfect. Let's just remind ourselves how we make verb three. Verb three, what do we add usually if it's regular, two letters? ED, very good. So we add ED to the end if it's regular. If it's irregular, you just have to know what verb three is. So we have some examples here. Eaten, sung, spoken. Can you give me some examples of some irregular verb threes? Written, very good. Uh, what about another one? Swam. Is swam correct? Swim, swam, swam. Very, very good. Swam. Okay. So there are some irregulars, so you have to try to uh, remember these and learn these ones. Okay. Now, in pairs, I want you to think of examples. I want one example sentence for each of these. Okay? So talk in pairs and then give me an example. Okay, so can you give me an example of a positive sentence using the present perfect? Okay, very, very good. Well done. And what about a negative sentence? Good. A question? Well done. Very, very good. Okay, so next we're going to add in two words here. So the first word is ever. What do you think the other word is? Never. Very, very good. Okay. So with ever, we use these for questions using the present perfect, and it means at any time in your life. So, for example, have you ever eaten durian? We're asking the person, have they done it at any time in their life? Okay? So we're usually talking about experiences or things that have happened in the past. And for never, we use in negative sentences. Okay? So, 
ever and never are not the opposite of each other. Okay? We use ever for questions and never for negative sentences. And it means at no time in your life. So, for example, I have never met a famous person. Okay? So let's just fit these in here. I, that's the subject, have never here. Okay? So it comes after have. And then verb three. Okay, so now in pairs, I want you to think of a have you ever question, okay, and ask your friend. So you can use this one as a template, okay? So the first person is going to say, have you ever, and then they're going to think of a verb, okay? So which verb are they going to use? Verb three, very good. And we're going to ask, they're going to ask your friend, what have they done, or have they ever done something, okay, in their life? And the other person's going to reply, yes, I have, or no, I have never. Okay, so in pairs, think of a conversation, and then we'll, we'll, sh we'll share them with the class afterwards. Okay, very good. Okay, so can you give me your conversation? Okay, both of you, stand up. Who's asking the question? Okay, good, so ask the question. Have you ever been to Spain? Very good. Have you ever been to Spain? Yes, I have ever. Is that correct? Yes, I have ever. Let's remind ourselves, ever is only used for questions, so we don't use them in the answers, okay? So you just say, yes, I have, or yes, I have been to Spain. Okay, very, very good. Let's have another example here. Who's asking the question? Good, okay, stand up. All right, so what's your question? Have you tried durian? Have you tried durian? Okay, very good. Have you tried durian? No, I have never tried durian. Very, very good. Well done. Okay, so let's look at a writing exercise now, okay? So you have some pictures on the board here. We'll do the first one together so you understand the, uh, the exercise. Look at the pictures and you need to think about what's happening in the pictures, in particular the verb and then what verb three is for it, okay? I want three sentences for each one, okay? I want a positive sentence, a negative sentence, and a question. So, first one we'll do together. What's happening in the first picture there, number one? Yep, yeah, it's an airplane, very good, but can we think of a verb that might go with that? Yep, yeah, okay, fly, okay, so, which verb? Verb three, what's verb three of fly? Okay, verb three of fly is flown, flown, flown. Very, very good. Okay, so we want to make a positive sentence out of this. Where are they flying to? South Korea. Very, very good. Okay, so let's think of our example. So we're asking someone, uh, we're, we're telling someone with a positive sentence. So subject, I have, very good, flown. Where have you flown? To Korea. Very, very good. Well done. Okay, how can we make a negative sentence for it? So negative. I have, haven't or hasn't? Haven't. Good. Flown. Good. Verb three. To Korea. And how can we make a question? Have. Subject. You ever, very good. Have you ever, verb three, flown to Korea? Very, very good. Okay, so now, in your books, I want the three sentences for each of the pictures. A plus, a positive sentence, negative sentence, and a question. And then we'll go through the answers together. Okay, so let's share our answers together. Let's just uh, do a positive sentence for number two. What have you got? I, I have, good, what's the verb? I have basketball, mm, we need a verb in there as well. Played basketball, very good, I have played basketball. Okay, number three, let's have a negative sentence for number three. What's happening in this picture? Good, I haven't, very good. Now, what's the, what's verb three, what's happening here? Swim, swam, swam. Okay, good. And what's this? 
Yeah, okay, so I have swum in a lake. Very, very good. All right, now give me a question for number four. Okay, very good. Have you ever, what's verb three of read? Read, very good. What book is this? Harry Potter, well done, okay. Number five, what's happening in this picture? Yeah? Okay, good, give me a negative sentence for number five. I haven't listened, very good, to Blackpink, good, well done. And the last one, number six, give me a positive sentence for number six. Good. I have written. Very good. Verb three of write is written. What's this? Look at the layout of the paper. We've done this in previous lessons. Address. Dear. Yeah, it's a letter. Very, very good. Well done. So, I have written a letter. Very, very good. Okay. Just to finish, let's just uh, practice some conversation. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions. Have you ever been to Malaysia? Good, okay, well done. Uh, have you ever broken your arm? Good. Okay, ask me a question using the present perfect. Have I tried spaghetti? Yes, I have tried spaghetti. Ask me a question in the present perfect. Have I played tennis? No, I have never played tennis. Okay, very good. So let's just remind ourselves what we've learned today. We've learned how to form the present perfect. We've learned the three ways to use the present perfect. What are the three ways to use them? Okay, so something that happens in the past and has a result in the present. What's the other way? Okay, something that's happened in the past or started in the past and, and continues to be the case now. And what's the third way? Okay, something that you've done in the past and it doesn't matter when. Okay, very good, well done. Well done class, see you next week.